In the ocean, plastic breaks up over time into tiny fragments, smaller than a grain of rice. These microplastics are found everywhere, from the deep sea floor to Arctic sea ice. Fishing gear today is made of nylon, polypropylene, and polyester, which are all plastic-based, contributing to microplastics in the waterways. This, in turn, pollutes rivers and oceans and produces unhealthy fish, which humans then consume. At the present time, oilseed flax straw is often burnt in the field. Farmers find the tough, fiber-containing straw too difficult to incorporate into the soil before the next planting season. Straw burning is a source of carbon emissions that could be eliminated if we used existing oilseed flax fiber. Our team leader is one of North America's leading experts in growing and processing flax fiber. He has already developed new cost-effective ways to extract spinnable flax fibers from such oilseed flax. His team members in Oregon are revitalizing flax farming and associated processing in their state, which has a long history of producing textiles and fishing gear from flax fiber. In the 19th century, fishermen hand-knit web for nets out of linen twine. There is no evidence that natural fibers have caused any kind of environmental challenge in oceans. We want to physically produce cost-effective flax fiber fishing gear like nets, traps, ropes, and lines. At the present time, there is potential to capture about 200,000 tons of fiber from oilseed flax in Canada and another 50,000 tons in North Dakota. If fishermen use our oilseed flax fiber-based fishing gear, they're not only reducing the plastic in the ocean, they're also reducing carbon emissions from field-burning flax straw, increasing farmers' incomes with diversified profit streams, and creating new manufacturing jobs in North America.